It's good to be with the people of Asia this morning. We, uh, we are studying the book of Galatians, and it is very interesting as we've been going through this. We have uh, uh, quite a few visitors this this evening in in Myanmar that's that's with us. So let me give a brief, a real brief background of what we've been studying. In Jerusalem, there, there's a body of believers that have believed in Jesus Christ. And many, 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 we're talking about thousands, of them are they're born again Jews that were that were part of the Jewish religion at one time. And in Jerusalem, there was a leader of the congregation. His name was James. He was he was recognized as one of the apostles of uh, of the first church. So Paul, you all know Paul. Paul was a, um, a born again Pharisee. Paul Paul he received a revelation of Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus and it changed everything in his life. For the span of like 17 years, he was receiving revelation of what we now know is the new covenant. And Ali will teach you about the new covenant, hopefully, in, in times to come. Amen. But the revelation that Paul received is the gospel that we, as New Testament believers, we embrace that new covenant uh, revelation. So Paul starts to travel around the region and he comes upon this area that's called Galatia. He spends some time there. He preaches the gospel. There are many people that receive the gospel. And, but as time goes on, Paul continues his journey. He goes to another city or another region and leaves these, these people uh, for the Holy Spirit, being able to receive directly from God. Paul 
Yowi okolo o huti ga ta huto le Ove ko no yongi ta te ta le o ka o nu te ka lo yo ko ka le Ha le bubu ko ko ma tu yo te These are the the church in Jerusalem. Um, they're confused. There's some confusion there. They 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 want to hang on to the old traditions of the first covenant mm. and live for Christ. Oh, but then Jerusalem we call it Jota we create a patch. Yo, we got this such a opi opi. Oh, but then that Amaliko ko na hu. No, we shall tama yo ma yama te ne we shall suwe mo tama ko sumo suji tama si la ko be we shall pita we pinya to ko ta cheti yuti le jo mo yesu kru opun asati ga we chope bi The old covenant which is the old law the Moses law it does not have any power to change the man's heart Mo se ta we shall pi we pinya to ko te chima it basically is rules and regulations to try to format the society to live a certain a certain way. Unless a man's heart is changed, they will never they will never turn to God and worship mm. him out of a true heart. Mm. You see God God is looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. And so the, the new covenant, the one that the gospel that Paul is preaching, is it's has a power behind it, and that power is the Holy Spirit that can come in to one and change their lives to make them want to serve God, not out of obligation, but out of a desire. Hmm. Yes, you talk about your pasavi, or Leo Catili, the car, the le asatevicho, as at the captain Tamara. Yaka, John Moy, you sucuta, how you let your talk, Taiko Shepate, how you love it, Yanta, that we gave you or half which at your asat, check with you, Lale. So James hearing about this region that received the gospel, he sent spies, he sent men there to find out um, what kind of liberties these people are, are enjoying in their new new relationship with Jesus. Mm. These men started to teach the people that, oh, you have to, you have to be circumcised to be born again. No, ni pot tipo pole, we shall be mummy, look like Gaveco, 
Circumcision was a mark. It was the uh, cutting of the flesh that identified the people as being as being of the promise of Abraham. Mm. So these people that came, they started to teach and they started to lead many of these people astray. Going back to the law, going back to circumcision. So when Paul hears about what's going on there, he sits down and he writes them a letter to correct them, to bring them back into that relationship that they started with Christ. So at the center of this letter that Paul writes is the question of obedience of two different and completely separate covenants. Which one you are to make to obey? The old covenant, which is 613 laws, mm. that is like a list of rules and regulations. All of the Thinking that if you obey that 613 laws, you will become um, righteous. But the problem is, no one but mm. Jesus could obey all that 613 laws. And according to the law, if you fail at one, you fail them all. Okay, that's the old law, mm. and now the new covenant is by grace you have been saved. Jesus came and fulfilled the old law, making him the perfect sacrifice. And then he fulfilled the law also by one of the requirements, and that was a blood sacrifice. He gave himself as the blood sacrifice. Okay, 
He died on the cross. He took his blood to heaven. He applied it to the mercy seat. And that forgave the people of their sins once and for all, forever. It's not trying to focus on the obedience of all those rules and regulations, but now it comes to believe in what mm. Christ has done on the cross. So when Christ died and went to heaven, he paid the price, but then he did something. He poured out his Holy Spirit upon the earth so that God now is in us to help us in our lives accomplish his will here on the earth. Once you've been born again and full of his Holy Spirit, now the Spirit is in you and he's helping you accomplish everything that God wants you to accomplish. Now I'm not going to take the time to, to talk about the fine points of salvation. I'll leave that up to, to Ali. We're studying the book of Galatians. This is a letter of correction, trying to get these people away from the law of Moses and once again back on a faith, a belief in Christ Jesus. You believe that is your salvation, believing having faith in Christ. Which brings us to our lesson today. We're in Galatians chapter 4. I recommend you read the whole book, the whole, the whole letter. Chapatole. Okay, so Paul is writing to a people that is once again <laughs> turning to the law of Moses for their salvation. Okay, we'll start with verse 21. That's where we start today, verse 21. Tell me, you who want to be under the law, do you not listen to the law? 
I'm sorry. Verse 21. Oh, I see. Okay, so Paul is saying, listen, you guys that are wanting to go back to circumcision, you wanting to go back to uh, the observance of days of festival, do you not understand what the law is trying to say to you? So Paul now, he uses an illustration to show exactly what's in God's heart about those two covenants. Okay. So he starts to tell the people about a story that we can find in the Old, Old Testament about Abraham. Is that a steward? It's a story that we can find in the Old oh. Testament about, about Abraham. Uh, no, we won't go into all the story, but mm -hmm. basically, Abraham had a promise of God that he, he was going to have a son, and through that son, there would be a great blessing. Time went by, there was no son, there, Sarah wasn't getting pregnant. So Sarah gave Hagar, his, her servant, to Abraham so that they could have sexual relationships. And through Hagar, Abraham would have the son, but that was not the will of God. No, <laughs> Ishmael was born, but he was rejected of God as being the promise. So mm. he and his mother was cast out of the tribe. Mm. Okay. Ishmael, <laughs> Ishmael was not the son of promise. He was not the promise. Ishmael ลาชอจิโยวิชากาติปิตาวิชอจิมาเฮจิโชยาชอวิชาวิโตโคตามานาเวปาโตเลชิดึกกะบอดะเชวิโยฮุอ่าโยอจิมาติเลปอลาวิ
Hagar was a slave. Her son is a slave. Everyone of that lineage are slaves. Hmm. Okay, <coughs> verse 24, let, let me read verse 24 and I'll explain this just a little bit. This is yeah. allegorically speaking for these two women are two covenants, one proceeding from Mount Sinai, children who are to be slaves. She is Hagar. Verse Verse 25 says, now this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. Alright, let me explain this. Let me explain this. Mount Sinai is the mountain where Moses went up into the cloud, into the fire, and he received the two tablets of stone, the Ten Commandments, which was the beginning of the law. Okay. So when we look at this, in this allegory, Hagar represents the law, the old covenant. Paul says that the present Jerusalem is under the law. So they're part of the old covenant, part of that slavery. Jerusalem Mm -hmm. Verse 26, but the Jerusalem from above, meaning the heavenly Jerusalem, that will come down to, to inhabit this earth later at the end of time. That Jerusalem is controlled by a whole different mindset, by a whole different covenant. Mm -hmm. Munomalu Jobi, Jerusalem Ville, O Chima Mahi, Yami Pele, Nahuvi O E Pevi. All right, and then just read verse uh, 27. He's quoting an Old Testament verse here, uh, 27 and 28. Go ahead and read that. Can I need to hit your Lifu O Pio Colo Jotavi, who shall be talk quota for you that you could cook with Nali? Kaiko O po chobe yami ake o ja o ja o du choma vi yo de buta vi yo o vi o ni te pao ngahu le i cha ka shu shu 
কাতি পিবে চাবে ও যাওয়া ফেবি ও And, you know, I could, I could spend some time looking at what Paul just quoted. It says, numerous are the children of the desolate, meaning that the ones who are of the old covenant, there's many of, of those people. But the one of the promise is not so many. In the, old, in the New Testament, we call that the remnant. Hmm. Remnant Kubicho Lifu or so Koru Galavati and Tad. We shall lure you to Opo Teta Vicho Uvinali. And verse 28 says that you, brethren, are like Isaac. You're the promise. The promise is of the other covenant, not of the old covenant, but of the new covenant. Jabatole Galati Vilkolu Cheta, the Priya de Pato Cheve, or any the Pau. Verse 29 is showing forth a, a truth that you need to understand that if you're in the new covenant, this is going to happen to you. Verse 29. The ones that are born of the old covenant, the old law, the flesh, they will, now listen to me, they will persecute. The new covenant. Chiti Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if you want to live by the Spirit, if you want to live by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the new covenant, you will be persecuted by those who want to live by the law. They will always persecute you. <laughs> So it is right now. This is, it hasn't changed. The old persecutes the new. There are many. There are many people that don't like persecution. Actually, when we get into the sixth chapter of Galatians, we find out the motivation of why these men are trying to put these people back under the law. It is easier, it is easier just to flow with the numbers mm. rather than stand up and say, hey, that's not right. You need to go with Christ and only Christ. <laughs> verse 30, let's go down here to verse 30. What does the scripture say? 
Ooh, and I said she put on for me, son. This yeah, is very strong. strong. Do you want me to read verse 30? Yeah, but express to them, this is a very strong verse that he's about to say. Mm. So you're gonna, you're gonna answer to your hands up with the Okay, go ahead, verse 30, go ahead and read it. Can I say to you, Tawo Gabby, Yaka, Lipu, Kaki, Kota, Vili, Ojo, Male, Jove, Yapata, Gaku, Oh, Tikaku, Lolly, now we'll be too much. Yaka, Lipu, Lipu, Kaki, Kota, Vili, Ojo, Male, Jove, Yapata, Gaku, Gato, Nali, Oloko, Ojo, Mavi, Yapale, Ojo, Mama, Hibi, Yami. Tigavi, Japa, get tige, or sita, a turka, Rajatu, Mahite, put up you. Oh, what is it that Paul is trying to say with this verse? What What is he trying to, to tell these people? Can I say to you that Julia, Paul, which of Galati, we are the part of Amati, you put my lag out in a lake, Nanya Cotter to get Joey. Okay, we were talking about two covenants, old covenant, new covenant. Chitikungahu Nima Kwacho to which or Gati Sacha or P or Lonle, Gati Sacha or So or Long, or P go with your Pina Tokota, Puchevi, or So go with your Jomo Yusukita, you with a Puchevi. The scriptures say, take the, the, the bond woman and her son and cast them out, meaning. They will not have any relationship with the new covenant, with the son of promise. It cannot be done. Also, Savi Alu Pevi, Ovi Yami Hagrale, Yovi Yapata, Raku, Oloku Yole, Rishagalu Lavi, or Sita, Tanda, which Omahi Kuna. Several also support which are your Rishale Machada, Rishavi Obota, Machada, which are. The people living according to the old covenant will not, will not receive the inheritance as the son, as is what is the purpose of God to have sons and daughters. Jomo Yusukrita, Asuyo Vitaiko Se Pake Ha Yu Vito Mahile, Asuyo Alu also support Raule Asati Chevi Chote Pacio. Rishagelu lave o sita gacha to be chomahi. Verse 31 it says, So then, brethren, we are not children of the bond woman, but of the free woman. Can I say to you, Koloka Koli, Koko Ketile, O Veni de Pao, Nahule, O Chimavi Yape, Vimahi, O Chimamahi, Vijami Tiga Vijape, Vijo. Here is the, the essence of why Paul is writing this letter. Can I say to you, Tango, you will get a mapato, lichita bule, galati via Priyate Pata, Pivili Uta, Catolera movie. These guys <laughs> came from Jerusalem and they're trying to put the people back under the law. Once Jesus has set you free, you are not to go back to slavery. Mm. Jomo you sucre not a wimba colotile, taiko lale, bove pevita, pila povico, ovita no yo povico, no le, o chipa, o chimama hu. You are not to go back to idols. Sahu ta no, oko puicho mahu. You are not to go back to ancestral worship. O opio pu suchomo de pata, oko puicho de pamahu. You are not to go back to the rules and regulations. You are to go forward in the, the freedom 
of Jesus Christ. He has set you free from those things. Now, now, with the help of the Holy Spirit, you do need the Holy Spirit in you. You live for Christ to live your life to a Peace, what he wants out of your life. Any questions or any comments about what we've studied so far today? ยะเปียงนอติเกฮิไกตาเวนากไกตาเวออนอทาจันดาเลนานิโคติผาจอลาเจมายโกโอซิบุทาชิเกชิเวโลโอวากาจาโคเวติจิจิกุกาเวกา
This is one of the strongest warnings in the New, mm. New, New Testament. But the uh, refuge of so called Henjabe Sati Toko, the Vijay Sati Pivi Toko Nali. So, Ali, would you please read verses one through five? Uh, Bill, Tawi, if you could follow in English as you read. Yes. That, okay. Nahu Rapun to Opon Critle, Nahu Tapu Lapu, Ketile, Cade, Yichel, Yichele, O Ti Fuvi, E Queta, Kaguli, Tipo, Taco Fu Nasi. Napolu no who touch a quick love you. No who ogumushi we tuck can you be go? Great lay, no who obo obon the chima jaw. Ogumushi we tuck can you be chalk up with a na tipo or good lassa. Okay, we chole or little cock up with a rana you let ratavi you. Or little cock up at all. Tavi jaw we chalk pet la to you that no who. Kadovi chote pale, Krita pada kaipu, O bonta no hu shon kaipu, Nahule, Jove tapato, Tevi jove cho petlatu, Dolovi tejita, O hafu o kolo, lo chevi yu. Strong, strong language that Paul is using here. Hm. Palafu li teletiku henjavinale. Verse 1 says, Jesus has set you free for the sake of freedom, not to go back into slavery. If you go back to the old covenant, it says in verse 2, Christ is no benefit to you at all. And in verse 3, it's not a question of just circumcision, but now if you, if you go back and you try to obey one of those things, you're obligated to keep the whole 613 laws. Can I ask you a question? Verse 4 is the strongest warning. Can I all go with the New, New, New Testament? Verse 4. You have, been, you have been severed. Look at this. You have been severed from Christ. Ah, No <laughs> You have fallen from grace. So, so it is very important. We have one minute. It is very important that we <laughs> cast out that old covenant. It is it is done. It is over. Now we set our attention to the new covenant and allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and direct us.
It's been a good class. I, I hope that you've you found it useful. I think you did. So I'm telling them that because of these sayings, you uh, don't think that you have to throw all the all the commandments. So uh, the law cannot make you free, only Christ Jesus. So that's why you have to you have to look at the law that that shows that you are not perfect. You need Christ. So that's right. what I'm saying to them. That's so right. That, and and Ali, by teaching this, you have <laughs> a, you know you have a job to do. And now now I've opened up the 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 way. Now you have to fill in all the little details. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hey, it's been good to be with you guys. Father, I just bless the people of Asia. I bless Bill and Tali in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, we shall oh Mamu Chetave, Chotia Lili Po no Bona Pishe. Chitiku like co chetave samata with it at to no bona pishe. Jomo is sukri meta ju the ticket bull of you. Amen. Thank you for the word. Amen. 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 Bye bye. Right. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week. Huh? Okay. Could you please stop the recording? I will. I will. <laughs>